Did you know this top-tier knife steel, CPM-154CM, is used in bearings? Find out later on in the video to see how it's used, why we use it, and even if your fidget spinners use it too. What's up everybody? My name is Jack Billing, CEO and founder of Shed Knives. Today, we're discussing a more serious topic of knife making, knife steel, specifically CPM-154CM, better known as CPM-154. Before we start, just a disclaimer, please understand there's dozens of resources, hundreds of links, and thousands of opinions on the steel, so I tried to hit the main points and separate fact from feeling. I also use KnifeNerds.com as a primary resource so go check them out and let them know I sent you all right let's get into it shed knives decided to switch from 4260 high carbon tool steel to CPM 154 for the 2023 model selection first let's get into the background of CPM 154 it started in 1959 with crucible industries who developed 154 CM with the Wright Air Development Center of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, Ohio. The purpose? To create bearings that can withstand temperatures of 350 degrees Fahrenheit or more in various parts of an act aircraft. M2 steel was also used due to the combination of tungsten and molybdenum for hot hardness, which was desired in the use of these bearings. As KnifeNerds.com states, early on it was also called CRM-134 or CRM-154 because the chromium content had not yet been nailed down. Now in 1960, Crucible submitted a patent application for another stainless bearing steel which had vanadium, tungsten, and cobalt additions. In that patent, they used 154CM as a comparison point but referred to to it as 440C modified. Thanks, knife nerds. 154CM therefore was higher, has higher hardness than 440C and a higher pitium resistance equivalent number or PREN number, but lower chromium in solution. Therefore, 154CM would be expected to have higher corrosion resistance in salt water. Now, in 1972, Bob Loveless began using 154CM and selling it in some of his knives like the Loveless Shoot Knife and the Big Battle Fighter. 154CM was also reported at the time to have been originally developed for the high temperature regions of the Boeing 747 jet engine. And Loveless said that it has helped me raise the overall quality of my blades and I expect to use it to the end of my days. Well, not quite. Due to the availability issues with 154CM, Bob Loveless later imported ATS-34 produced by Hitachi. I also see articles that say he got his steel through Kobe Steel in Japan as well, so I'm not sure if he did both, if there was a name change, or if one of the articles is incorrect. Back to steel. Some have claimed that ATS-34 was cleaner than 154CM. 154CM and ATS-34 both became very popular in knife making, most likely due to the effective marketing of Bob Loveless and its higher working hardness when compared with 440C. Now with all this info, you're probably wondering, why did Shed Knives make the switch to CPM-154? Well, it was a variety of things, all the way from the first knives made in 2018 and 19, 4260 high carbon steel was used. One of the major flaws with the steel wasn't even the steel itself, but just how little information was available on it. Like seriously, one of the distributors I got steel from could could not tell me any information on it other than it's a good tool steel, it's made in Pennsylvania, and you should be good to use it for knives. That's about it. Through my own testing, heat treating, sharpening, and knife making, I found it to be quite easy to work with. Sharpen, and it held a pretty good edge without the worry that my knife might break on me. 
Due to the lack of information, this turned into a few confused customers, tons of questions, and several lost sales simply because of the lack of info. Well, do you know what steel has a ton of information and popularity? You guessed it, CPM 154 CM. Seriously, it's just better. When you stare down the blade of a CPM 154 CM blade, it's like staring down a raging bull. You need to sense how tough it is. I mean, bring this knife up against tough material. It's like a raging army of 100,000 Spartans from the streets of Athens in 4th century BC against something like a piece of wood. I mean, it's an obvious W for the knife and the user. Now that might be a little over the top, but at least you get the point. Such a hard steal. The stamp I got for these knives won't even leave an indentation. To sum up why I picked the steel, here you go. It's tough compared to other common steels. CPM 154 holds a solid edge. It's corrosion resistant. It's readily available. Generally affordable. Provides a cool finish, especially with the stone wash we might be working with. Now, back to the original clip with the fidget spinner. Unfortunately, CPM 154 is not used in fidget spinners, but it definitely is used in knives from Bob Loveless, Benchmade, Hogue, and as of 2023, Shed Knives. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, along with testing, reviews, and more, tap the red subscribe button as well. Check out 2023 models that go live on February 1st at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on ShedKnives.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.